Hello everyone! Our topic today is all about graphs of sine, cosine, and tangent. The graphs of sine, cosine, and tangent for angles between 0 degree and 360 degrees can be drawn on graph papers manually or by using graphing calculator. Our computer applications such as geometers, sketchpad, and geogebra. First, we are going to graph y is equal to sine theta. So in here, we are going to graph it manually. So we will be having the x-axis and the y-axis. Under your y-axis, we will be having positive 1 and negative 1. Along your x-axis, we will be using the radians. And remember that pi is equal to 180 degrees. In here, we will base our answer in the unit circle. So first, we are going to have pi over 2. We will be using the increment pi over 2, so we will be adding all along pi over 2. So the next one would be pi, the next one would be 3 pi over 2, the next one is 2 pi, then next is pi, 5 pi over 2, then 3 pi, then next one is 7 pi, and then we have 4 pi, and then the last one would be 9 pi over 2. And on the other side, we have negative pi over 2, negative pi, and negative 3 pi over 2. Now, we will base our answer for the y coordinate using the unit circle. So, to get sine theta, it will be equal to your y coordinate. So, to get sine 0 degree, it will be equal to 0. Then, sine 90 degree will be equal to 1. Sine 180 degrees will be equal to 0. And then, sine 270 degrees will be equal to negative 1. Then we have sine 360 degrees, which is equal to sine 0 degree, which is equal to 0. Then remember the pattern for this one. So it means that when we have another cycle for the unit circle, so this is at 0, then sine 5 pi over 2 will be equal to 1, then next would be equal to 0, then we have negative 1, then we have 0, then we have positive 1. And then, counterclockwise, so we have sine negative pi over 2, which is equal to negative 1, and then we have sine negative pi, which is equal to 0, and then we have sine negative 3 pi over 2, which is equal to 1. Now, let us connect the points. Okay, and then it is continuous, so we have arrows on both ends. So, that is the graph for y is equal to sine theta. After graphing your y is equal to sine theta, let us have the characteristics for angles between 0 degree and 360 degrees. So first, the graph of y is equal to sine theta is a wave-like curve and is continuous. And the second one, the graph of y is equal to sine theta begins from the origin, from 0, 0. And then the graph of y is equal to sine theta has a maximum point at 90 degrees 1 and a minimum point at 270 degrees negative 1. And then the last characteristic is the value of sine theta is equal to 0 when theta is equal to 0 degree, 180 degrees, and 360 degrees. The next one would be the graph of y is equal to cosine theta. So in here, we are going to base our answer in the unit circle. So remember that cosine theta is equal to x coordinate. So Determining cosine 0 degrees, it would be equal to 1. And then cosine 90 degrees, it would be equal to 0. Then next, cosine 180 degrees would be equal to negative 1. And then cosine 270 degrees would be equal to 0. And then we have a full circle. So we have cosine 360 degrees, which is equal to 1. Now, let us have the pattern. So, the next one would be positive 1. The next one would be at 0. Then, the next one would be at negative 1. The next one would be at 0. Then, sine 4 pi would be equal to 1. Then, the last one would be at 0. Then, counterclockwise. So, sine negative pi over 2 would be equal to 
0, then sine negative pi would be equal to negative 1, then sine negative 3 pi over 2 would be at 0. Then we connect the coordinates or the points, it looks like this. And then both ends will be continuous. So that is the graph of y is equal to cosine theta. Now let us have the characteristics of the graph of y is equal to cosine theta for angles between 0 degree and 360 degrees. So the first one, the graph of y is equal to cosine theta is a wave-like curve and is continuous. The second one, the graph of y is equal to cosine theta begins from 0 degree 1. And the graph of y is equal to cosine theta has a maximum points at 0 degree 1 and 360 degrees negative 1 and a minimum point at 180 degrees negative 1. So remember that maximum point is the highest point and minimum point is the lowest point. Now the fourth one, the value of cosine theta is 0 when theta is equal to 90 degrees and 270 degrees. Now let us graph y is equal to tangent theta. In here, we are going to use the unit circle as well as the calculator. So remember that tangent theta is equal to y coordinate over your x coordinate. So if we have tangent 0 degree is equal to 0 over 1, which is equal to 0. And we have tangent 90 degrees, which is equal to 0 over 1, which is equal to undefined. So at pi over 2, it is a broken line. And then tangent 180 degrees, which is equal to 0 over negative 1, which is equal to 0. So at uh, tangent uh, 180 degrees is at 0. And then tangent 270 degrees is equal to 0 over 1, which is undefined. So at 3 pi over 2, it is a broken line. And then tangent 360 degrees, which is equal to 0 over 1, which is equal to 0. So at 2 pi, it is equal to 0. And then we have the pattern, so it means that automatically pi pi over 2 is a broken line because it is undefined. And then at 3 pi, it is equal to 0. Then tangent pi over 4 is equal to 1 and tangent negative pi over 4 is equal to negative 1. And then tangent negative pi over 2 is undefined, so we have a broken line. And then we connect the points, so we have this curve and the curve moves downward continuously as well as upward continuously but it doesn't touch your negative pi over 2 and pi over 2 it is asymptotic and then next tangent 3 pi over 4 is equal to negative 1 and tangent pi pi over 4 is equal to positive 1 so uh, connecting the points we have this curve and then it moves continuously but it will not cross 3 pi over 2 and pi over 2. Then we have tangent 7 pi over 4, which is equal to negative 1, and tangent 9 pi over 4, which is equal to 1. Then connecting the points, we have this curve. Then it moves continuously up and down, but it will never cross pi, pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. And then we have tangent 11 pi over 4, which is equal to negative 1. So connecting this one, it will look like this, and it is continuous. So that is the graph of y is equal to tangent theta. Now let us study the characteristics of the graph of y is equal to tangent theta for angles between 0 degree and 360 degrees. So first, the graph of y is equal to tangent theta is not wave-like curve and is not continuous. And then the graph of y is equal to tangent theta begins from the origin. And then the graph of y is equal to tangent theta doesn't have maximum or minimum point. Unlike uh, the graph of y is equal to sine theta and y is equal to cosine theta. And then the last one, the value of tangent theta is 0 when the angle is equal to 0 degree, 180 degrees, and 360 degrees. So before I end up the discussion, please answer this one. I will give you five seconds to answer. Where does the graph of y is equal to sine theta begin? Timer starts now. Time is up. What is your answer? That's right. The answer is from the origin.
Now let us have another one. What is the maximum and minimum point of the graph of y is equal to tangent theta? I will give you 5 seconds to answer this one. Timer starts now. Time is up. What is your answer? That's right. The graph of y is equal to tangent theta doesn't have minimum or maximum point. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching. See you again next week. Bye!